dear students under the topic radius of curvature here we have a question which says that find rho so rho is the radius of curvature at the point t for the curve x equals this and y equals this so we observe that the equations given are in parametric form so the formula for radius of curvature in the parametric form is given by rho equal to x dash square plus y dash square whole to the power 3 by 2 divided by x dash y double dash minus y dash x double dash. So this is the formula for radius of curvature when the equations are given in the parametric form. Now we can also solve this problem by another method where we will be not using this formula. Instead we will differentiate dx with respect to t I mean x with respect to t and y with respect to t and from that we find dy by dx from which we find d square y by dx square and we use the formula for Cartesian equation that is the radius of curvature formula when we uh, use the Cartesian equation and that formula we use and we complete the problem. But in this problem I am going to use this formula and show you how to find the radius of curvature of the given curves which are in parametric form. Now in this formula x dash represents dx by dt x double dash represents d squared x by dt square in a similar way y dash represents dy by dt and y double dash represents d squared y by dx i mean uh, d squared y by dt square so uh, using this concept that is by using this formula let us find the radius of curvature for the given curves so first of all we shall take this x which is given that is x equals a cos t plus sin t. Now from this what is dx by dt we have to differentiate this equation with respect to t and we get it as a multiplied with the differentiation of cos t is minus sin t and then the differentiation of sin t is cos t so plus cos t so we have obtained dx by dt now using this we have to find d squared x by dt square which is equal to a multiplied with now what is the differentiation of sin t it is cos t and we have a negative sign here so negative cos t and the differentiation of cos t is negative sin t so minus sin t so we have obtained dx by dt which is x dash and d square x by dt squared which is x double dash so we have obtained this in a similar way let us find for y given y is equal to a multiplied with cos t minus sin t so this is from the question now what is dy by dt we have to differentiate this with respect to t so a multiplied with the differentiation of cos t is minus sin t and then minus the differentiation of sin t is cos t now we shall again differentiate this and obtain d square y by dt square which is equal to a multiplied with the differentiation of sin t is cos t and we have a negative sign here so negative cos t and the differentiation of cos t is negative sin t so that minus and this minus gets multiplied so minus into minus becomes plus and we have a sin t so we have obtained this that is this is y dash and this is y double dash so we have obtained x dash x double dash y dash and y double dash now we shall use all this in this formula but before that we shall just rewrite this that is this d squared um, I mean x dash let it be this itself because uh, here we have two negative signs let us just rewrite it and uh, we shall rewrite this also actually this can be written as I will rewrite and I will show here 
this uh, a multiplied with this minus sin t i can write after cos t so cos t minus sin t so i'm just rewriting it for convenience while doing the substitution now here in this we can see that uh, both are negative so we can take that negative common out so minus a multiplied with sin t plus cos t so this becomes sin t plus cos t and when we come for this here we have both to be negative so let us take it out so minus a multiplied with cos t plus sin t and here this negative sign let us take it out so it will be minus a multiplied with so this becomes positive so cos t minus sin t so we have obtained all this that is we have rewritten it now we shall substitute in the formula rho which is equals x dash square plus y dash square all to the power 3 by 2 divided by x dash y double dash minus y dash x double dash. So when we substitute in this formula first we have to write x dash square. What is x dash? This is x dash. So the square of this will be a squared cos t minus sin t the whole square plus y dash square what is y dash here we have so when we take the square of this this negative sign will get vanished it will become positive and the square of a is a squared multiplied with sin t plus cos t the whole squared and this whole thing is raised to the power 3 by 2 so 3 by 2 divided by in the denominator first we have x dash what is x dash this one so let us write that a multiplied with cos t minus sin t and then it has to be multiplied with y double dash so here we have y double dash here we have a, a negative sign which we will write in the front and then this a gets multiplied with this a and it becomes a squared and cos t minus sin t gets multiplied with cos t minus sin t and it becomes whole square minus y dash what is y dash this one so this minus and this minus gets multiplied and it becomes plus so we can write uh, that like what to say yes we can write this but this is not y dash here we have y dash it is y dash multiplied with x double dash so this and this has to be multiplied and this negative sign i have written here so when we multiply this and this here we have a negative sign here we have a negative sign so minus into minus will become positive so this negative remains as it is then this a gets multiplied with this a and it becomes a squared multiplied with here we have cos t plus sin t and here we have sin t plus cos t both are same only so it will become sin t plus cos t the whole square now we shall simplify this by expanding the brackets that is we will write this as a minus b the whole square formula we will use and we will rewrite this so it will become a squared plus b squared minus 2ab so uh, instead of a we have cos t and instead of uh, b we have sin t so using that formula let us expand this so rho will be equal to uh, this one a squared multiplied with cos square t plus sin square t minus 2 cos t sin t i have expanded using a plus a minus b the whole square formula plus okay this we will close the bracket plus this a squared multiplied with what is sin t plus cos t the whole square again we can expand it so it will be sin square t plus cos square t plus 2 sin t cos t and this the whole power 3 by 2 so we have to write the whole power 3 by 2 divided by so divided by now this negative a squared will be there and here again cos squared t plus sin squared t minus 2 cos t sin t i am expanding 
using the formula a minus b the whole square minus a squared bracket again expand this by using the formula a plus b the whole square so it will be sine square t plus cos square t plus 2 sine t cos t so after that rho will be equal to rho is equals now if you see here a square and a square are in common so we can take it out so a square in common i am taking it out and if i open the bracket okay so now we will open the bracket and we will write cos square t plus sine square t minus 2 cos t sine t so this i have written as it is here now we have taken this a square common so inside we will be having these three terms which is plus sine square t plus cos square t plus 2 sine t cos t and this whole thing is closed and after that including that a square it is raised to the power 3 by 2 the whole divided by now after that we can see that this minus a square is in common so we can take it out so minus a squared so within the bracket we will be having cos square t plus sine square t minus 2 cos t sine t and then this one plus sine square t plus cos square t plus 2 sine t cos t now we will close this bracket now if you observe here we see that we have a cos square t plus sine square t what is the value of sine square t plus cos square t it is equal to 1 so this value becomes 1 and also this value that is sine square t plus cos square t these two values will become 1 and this term is negative 2 cos t sin t and this term is positive 2 sin t cos t. So these two will get cancelled and in the numerator we will be having rho to be equal to bracket a squared. And here we have 1 and here we have 1. So 1 plus 1 will become 2. So 2 a square whole raised to the power 3 by 2 divided by now in the denominator again so cos t plus sine square t so this will become 1 and this plus uh, i mean minus 2 cos t sine t and plus 2 sine t cos t will get cancelled and this also turns out to be 1 because sine square t plus cos square t is 1 so this 1 plus 1 is 2 so we have in the denominator minus 2 okay this minus this 2 and a square now we shall further simplify this so this will be equal to now this a squared we have this 2 and so that will become actually I will write first I will separate and I will write then I will cancel so this 2a is raised 2a square is raised to the power 3 by 2 so I, will, I am separating the powers 2 power 3 by 2 a square power 3 by 2 divided by minus 2 a square now if you see this 2 and this 2 will vanish so we will be having 2 to the power 3 by 2 a to the power 3 divided by minus 2 a square and so now a square and one of the a gets cancelled and one a will be remaining here and so this will be equal to so i will write this negative sign here and this is 2 to the power 1 when it goes to the numerator it becomes 2 power minus 1 so we will be having 2 to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 multiplied with a and what is uh, 3 by 2 minus 1 it is 1 by 2 so it is minus 2 to the power 1 by 2 multiplied with a but what is 2 power 1 by 2 it is square root of 2 so minus square root of 2 a so this is the radius of curvature so therefore the radius of curvature for the given curves rho is equal to minus square root of 2 a so this is the required solution hope you have understood this problem so this is how we have to solve the um, the i mean solve for radius of uh, curvature 
to find radius of curvature when the curves are given in parametric form i have also done these kinds of problems in another method in our previous video so kindly don't confuse it you can either carry out that method or you can also use the formula method to solve this problem thank you